Hi, welcome to Incarnation's YouTube video channel. Today, we are going to have our first video, which ties to living as missionary disciples. The video can be found on our Facebook page or in our bulletin. Today is an unexpected encounter with, wait for it, our very own Father Gormley, who will be cooking for us. So good afternoon, everyone. I was asked by Charlene Stahelik, who's the head of the uh, Disciples of Leadership uh, Ministry for the parish, if I would do a, a little cooking video in anticipation of Thanksgiving. So I agreed, and now I'm, a lot of the recipes that I found um, are, are pretty easy. There's a lot of uh, preparation that can be done beforehand, and a lot of people like to do that. So Thanksgiving morning, you know, can be enjoyed. There's uh, less hassle that has to be done. So I'm just gonna do a couple of appetizers and one side dish for uh, Thanksgiving. And the first I actually started yesterday. I got about a dozen jalapenos and cut them in half. I pulled out the uh, veins in the middle and soaked them in water overnight to pull some of the heat out. Spend with pennies on Pinterest was the website I found this for the uh, stuffed jalapenos. <clears throat> so the mixture, very easy, uh, six ounces of softened cream cheese. Remember, everything's got to be at room temperature for it to really mix together well. Uh, four ounces of shredded white cheddar cheese, some fresh chives, uh, about a tablespoonful, a little, uh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and mix that all together. And so I did that and I wrapped it and put it in the refrigerator yesterday. It took it out about an hour ago to let it soften and stuffed the uh, jalapenos. So whenever you're working with the jalapenos, especially when you're starting to cut them, uh, advisable to wear a pair of uh, rubber gloves because the heat is torture. Uh, years ago, I had a friend of mine and she said, since you like the uh, long hots, you know, and you eat them throughout the year, she said, you can come over. This was during the summer. So we sat out on our carport with a bushel of uh, long hots. And she said to me before we started, she said, do you want a pair of rubber gloves? And I said, no. So anyway, we finished cleaning all the peppers. And I said to her, uh, my hands are tingling. She said, just wait a little bit longer and my hands were on fire from the heat of the, the long hot peppers. So it was a lesson that was well learned. Um, so anyway, after you take the peppers out of the water, of course, uh, dry them off, stuff them with the cheese mixture, dip them in the breadcrumb, and I lined a, a, a small pan to roast them in put a little of olive oil on the bottom too so that they so that they don't stick I love stuffed long hots during the summertime well any time of the year and a really good quick recipe when I buy them I usually take them out and rub a little olive oil on them put them on a bacon sheet an old bacon sheet that I use to throw stuff on the grill and line it with tin foil get them softened I cut them in half first before they go on the grill. They're only out there for about three or four minutes. And then bring them in, let them cool off. And you can stuff them with uh, gorgonzola, some prosciutto, some uh, fresh mozzarella. They're spectacular. Uh, just drove a little bit of olive oil on them, stick them back out on the grill or in the oven for just a couple of minutes, and they're, they're phenomenal. It's only if you like hot stuff, though. <laughs> so. These go in the oven, 400 for about 20 minutes, and that'll be their first appetizer.
Okay, so this is going to be the uh, side dish for Thanksgiving, and it's a broccoli and cauliflower gratin. So again, yesterday, just to try to jump the gun a little bit, I took two heads, uh, I mean a head of broccoli and a head of cauliflower, uh, cut it into chunks. And the recipe that I looked at online, when you know, when you see some of the reviews after they give the recipe, it d never mentioned anything about steaming the uh, broccoli and ca cauliflower or roasting it. So I experimented a little bit and roasted it. Just olive oil, salt and pepper, 375 for about uh, 25 minutes. Pulled it out, let it cool off, and now all to do is take a little butter, grease the inside of the bacon dish, because you know with the cheese mixture it'll really stick, but the butter really helps it to loosen up. I want to take the opportunity to thank the Mozzarelli family down in Vineland who have a uh, produce stand and they contributed a lot to the, all the uh, ingredients that are being used in these recipes. So thanks Rita, thanks Charlie, and thank you to your staff. So you're just gonna take the broccoli and the cauliflower, put it in the buttered bacon dish. It's about a three quart bacon dish. So for the sauce for the broccoli and cauliflower gratin. You're gonna take four tablespoons of butter and melt them. Then you're gonna take six tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour, and stir that together for about two minutes. You're really just trying to get rid of that raw flour taste. My sous, sous chef, Andrew, is helping right now, taking the jalapenos out. <laughs> So the flour and the butter have cooked long enough now, so I'm going to add three cups of milk. <coughs> this is going to thicken up a little bit. So when I tried this the other day, it called for uh, about eight ounces of Gruyere cheese. <laughs> but then again, I was looking at you know, some of the reviews and then somebody said that they added a mixture of the uh, three cheeses, uh, three Italian cheeses. So that's what I'm gonna try today and then top it with Gruyere uh, before I put it in the oven. So you got a little, Add a little dash of nutmeg. Be careful with it because it's pretty strong. I know a lot of people like the fresh stuff, but you use what you have in the cabinet, and this is what I have in the cabinet. If it seems like it's clumpy, which it is, don't worry about it because once it's poured all over the broccoli and the cauliflower, it's delicious. Okay, so I'm going to take the mixture now and pour it over the broccoli and the cauliflower. There's no calories in this. <laughs> now I'm just gonna top it with a little Gruyere. Cover it with tin foil. <clears throat> so this is going in the oven, 375. 15 minutes covered and 15 minutes uncovered. color nice you can't go wrong with cheese and milk 
and butter. It's Thanksgiving. Enjoy. Jalapeno poppers. Broccoli cauliflower gratin. If you like any of the recipes, the links are in our description. And please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.